What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. We are moving on to the third episode now New World Order And if you guys remember in episode two lots happen, you know, what I mean, there's a lot of new questions that needed to be answered And hopefully we'll find some of that out in this episode without further ado guys We're gonna jump in if you're ready for this episode though Do me a favor slap that like button throw your batarang at that like button and we'll get started So guys sit back relax Start episode three, New World Order. Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the they're waiting for you in hell! Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Your father felt Kone and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Let's get out of here. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there? Yes! Yeah. Thank you for volunteering. I downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Mr. Dent. Thank you. So yeah, a lot of stuff happened in that last episode, man. We made we made the hard choices that, well, I think we're for the best. Like, for example, when we had to help Dent or Selena, I chose Dent because I know Selena could take care of herself. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, finally, a friendly bed. face. Is, he's still being held for observation. Meanwhile... It's good to see you. Nice outfit, Harv. That is... quite the look. What? I'm mayor now. Thought I'd start a new trend. Really, though, I can't wait to get out of here. Gown included. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh, <laughs> I brought you some flowers, though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary, uh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be 
I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. No one else even did a damn thing. Yeah, I can... I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. Gotham is in real danger. All the more reason for me to stand up tonight and give the people hope. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy. To go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? Not gonna be able to take it easy. You have to listen to your therapist, Harvey. That, that should be obvious. No, I know. I know. But sitting here, this isn't doing me any good. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot? Hill admitting to having both of them killed? It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. This just proves that I never really knew him. He was just hiding who he really was. I'm sorry. I know you'll pull through this. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'll make it up to you. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. <laughs> And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? My, my assistant won't be here for another hour. You can... you can stay if you want. It's, uh... it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. Well, it's hard to say what's going to come from that. This whole Children of Arkham thing. Obviously, I'm sure we'll learn more in this episode. Unit 6 in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the Children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Well, it worked. I'm here. I appreciate it. Things are a mess. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. I'll find her. 
We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. Then that debate. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A friend who can help us. That friend got a name? All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance. But seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? They're probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. Not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight, so it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Dinner! What a dumb bitch. Why would she go in? Well, let's listen to Dent. What do you keep looking at? That car's been behind us since the hospital. God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Just drive faster. What the? Oh, damn it! Of course they both need my help. That is really annoying. Oh, uh, let's do Renee. Get to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. See, I went after Montoya because I feel like the police can kind of look after Dent. And look at this. What's up, homies? Oh! Go ahead, come at me, bro. Ooh! Oh my god, that looks savage. Thanks. <laughs> I got this one. Batman, look out. Got it. Everything is armor plated. Oh! It's over. <laughs> look, I promise I'm not going to shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. It's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. 
Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Don't beat yourself up. You did a lot of good here today. Sometimes the risk is worth it. I'll keep that in mind. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. And the chatter sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's gotta help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. Might be a chance to save both of them. Alfred. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Deborah, get down! Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's too many of them! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there! On my way. Hang on, Harvey, I'm coming! If you'd only listen, you know? Look at these guys just standing about. Oh, he's okay. Thank God. Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that. Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You're wrong about me. I'd have put him in jail. So unless you're making a comment on the justice system, I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You think any of us are buying this recent nice guy routine? We've all heard the stories about you. At least this one died quick. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, command. to command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. I think going after Montoya was the right decision there because, well, look at that. Dent handled his own. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> We'll fix this, Alfred. We'll make it right. We just have to stay focused. I admire your determination, sir. Just be careful, Bruce. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. <laughs> Right. See what's going on with the comms. 
Oh, come on, bruv. You know they can't say shit. I mean, that's his boss. That's their boss. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, yeah. I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha. She was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now, more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. That is some BS, man. That is truly an epic hidden door, man. Come on. That's just to unlock it. That's to open it. Retinal scan. Here she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. That is true. I know true. the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. You can't afford to lose their resources. The board's in a panic, but this will die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but I'm not so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news, or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Bad news first, you guys know that's how it is. Well, no shortage of bad news lately, might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using? I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. 
If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Alright, let's have a look around, see what we can... Look at that shadow, that just looked unnatural. <laughs> Is there anything around us? Obviously the cowl. Let's take a look at it. Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? What else we got? Drone here? Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Lucius a pretty is a pretty intelligent man. I mean, think about it. Look at all this tech that he built for bats. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. And it works. We can use it now. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. I guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. What else? Check out the whiteboard? Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Oh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham, and this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city- Grogan? She messed that up. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here.
Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. How are you supposed to get out of your secret hiding spot without her seeing? Unless, of course, your reception's like, bro, sit tight. Maybe you left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. Ah, I get it. My name isn't great for business lately. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I ask to slow all this down, but the press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. That's not fair, man. That's absolutely I'm BS. Sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Unless she's lying and she was the one who's like, he's a Our bitch. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Not the mayor. Former mayor. Okay, Oswald that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, old boy. Good to see you again. Just hug him. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. I feel like he's smiling through gritted teeth right now, man. I mean, that is absolute bullshit. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce, clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce? Apologies, I don't know where my head was. Probably halfway out the door, mate. No worries. Yeah, yeah, that must be it. I, I... Careful clean that up, Oz. You might cut yourself. Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. 
something exotic. This way, Bruce. Like, that sucks so much ass, dude. Like, the ass that sucks is just ridiculous. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Like, they don't know anything about Cobblepot. Like, how do they not know that it, now they're putting, instead of putting a good man in there, they're throwing a criminal in there. The board sounds like a bunch of morons. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius... I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. I don't understand how someone could do that. You know, like, it's your company. You run the... Sh you call the shots. How could the board just say, step down, punk? And then you have to formally do it yourself. Formally, temporarily step down. God, that's infuriating, that whole thing with Cobblepot, man. But I wanted to save face. I didn't want to lose my cool. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon. He said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. It's funny, though, because, like, Cobblepot has, now has access to, to like, the Wayne headquarters. So, and now he's got this. They're essentially taking over the city from Wayne Enterprises. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. All right, what do we have over here? Arkham Asylum. That could be an option. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Wait, what else? Okay, so we have the courthouse. No, this that's the courthouse. City Hall, courthouse, and the GCPD. Let's try the uh, City Hall. 
Oh, that's the wrong one. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Someone had him killed. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... Understatement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? No, not yet. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. So that means we just gotta go warn Harvey. So let's head over there now. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred. And have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> What happened to Selena? We haven't seen her. Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harvey. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Sorry. It was my fault. I'll be sure to announce myself next time. No, no, it's it's all right. It's not you. It's just that my nerves are a little bit shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Trust me, Harv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. A part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? 
The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, at the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare, and I can't get out. Everywhere I go, I am terrified I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. No, I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think, imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. Give him the authority to do what he wants. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. <sighs> Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe, maybe you should... Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Two-Face, um, coming Dent, out. The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the, the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. And that doesn't include the Batman things. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. But I like how they handed it two face there a bit with the coin flip and his anger. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. It's probably not the leader. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Hello? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you, what you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. 
Cobblepot Park. Deal. See, that was the illusion there. The illusion of choice. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. You saw what they did at the debate. They're terrorizing Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. No investigation. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale, think what you want about Bruce Wayne. But I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, just don't tell anyone I gave this to you. I mean, let's be real here, man. That's the least she could have done. Basically, she's like, oh, I owe you one. But then you went out there and she was basically putting Batman under the wire. You know, give it, like, interrogating him for a story. And I don't say questioning and I don't say interviewing. Interrogating him. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far, 
They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. Could also be a There's trap. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Alright guys, let's take a gander. This looks like one of them. No, he looks He's like a been merc. Dead for a while, from the looks of it, one of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He's been shot. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. Look at his veins. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. See his veins there? Like, remember how they're all blue and like crazy, like just like uh, Montoya's were when she was injected. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? We'll have to connect that in a minute. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. What else is there? Is there anything else? These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. I know what they're gonna do, obviously. They're gonna... Someone's been practicing chemistry. They're gonna bring those chemicals to the station and try and set them off. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? They loaded up with the train. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty, for now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. What can we link it with? The chemical barrels. <sighs> this wouldn't work. I need to know where their target is. All right, that's not gonna work. What else can we find? All right, so we gotta go back to this chap. Modded drug. Chemical barrels? What exactly are they planning to release? That should be enough. A modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Yeah. 
And what? What else, what else do I need to link? I'm gonna go out on a limb and try and link with this chap over here. I could be wrong about this too. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. So that was the correct link or no? Try that. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. Damn it, Selena. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. It'll knock it out of his hand, watch. Or not. Thanks, Bats. Now get going! Train's ready! Move up! Yes, the combo! It begins! Oh, there you go. Come on, Selena, let's double team these bitches. Oh! I'm maxed out. Whoa! <laughs> We out of this. We still gotta catch that douche.
Oh, what the hell? Don't get ahead of yourself. I decide when this ends. Who are you? Can't protect Gotham from itself. Cobblepot, maybe? They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. <laughs> just like the other. This dude's got talent. Disarm him. So short sighted. Batman. Catch. Got him. Peace. Oh, look at that! That is epic! Go get him! But it's not time for us to know what he looks like or who he is yet. We'll find out who he is. I know. Come on. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. <clears throat> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. 
You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. <sighs> I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. I'm starting to see that for myself. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see? Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. And then you're better than most. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. What? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Thanks, Bats. I was hoping for something more than that. Got cock blocked last episode, bruv. I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Mm. <laughs> mm. 
I think she's trolling. Maybe not. Not trolling. <laughs> they've always been an item, though. That's the thing. That that's they've always been an item. You, you gotta go with it. It's gonna happen anyway. Rise and shine. Not yet. <laughs> Surprised you're still here. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That was fun. But you showed me where we stood back at the debate. <laughs> I know last night didn't mean anything. I don't need you to stay and hold my hand. One night stands don't usually stick around. <laughs> well, it meant something to me, Selena. I thought. Oh, I'm sorry. But that's not what this is. It's better this way. No strings. There are bagels in the fridge if you're hungry. No need to rush out on an empty stomach. Take all of her bagels. <laughs> Uh-oh. Before we grab it, can we grab anything else? All right, apparently not. So maybe we will in a second. Let's just grab the cowl. Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if, if you were. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... Oh, I just... you still could have called, you know. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Yeah, um, that's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Okay, I don't want to get caught. That's the thing. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. I don't know if we should steal. I don't want to steal anything. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. <laughs> Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating junk. Maybe she likes things that are cheap and fast. Let's get a bagel. <sighs> Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. 
I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What oh, the... crap! <laughs> what are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. What do you think? I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe Just this! Don't! Don't touch me! Look at his arm! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you. I don't care about you. No one does. I shouldn't have come. None of this is about you, Harvey. So I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. I can handle the children of Arkham. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. And they aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both Bring it. You. You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? Yes, you are. This isn't you. Just calm down. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Jesus, Harvey. Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't... They turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. He's trying you to hurt you. Take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey. You're a schizo. Come on, Harvey. That's enough. Oh, God. Please. I want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... 
I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Just let me talk to him. You don't know what you're doing. He needs a professional. Please. All right. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. So do, do I not to get my, like, my claw? Because I didn't grab it? I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've, uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. Here's the thing. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance. Happy to be here too, Oz. Really? Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you being such a professional. It's time. I'm wondering Bruce, if I should I'm going play to along. You and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Because if I expose the children of Arkham, good morning, they'll everyone. They'll know I'm not just. And thank you for Wayne. being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear. Not even close. No one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Yeah, perhaps. But at least I, I get like the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. Victimized.
This is just the first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings and you, Wayne, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're going to have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mum played in it. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> oh, dear. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. That is terrible. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. Careful, Bruce. Oh, no! Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the- Ah! Damn it! With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot, an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. I just wanted to put that tick in their ear a little bit. I worry for the future. This is a difficult decision. I gotta remain incognito. In great hands. Sarcasm. Oswald Cobblepot will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And with that, Oswald Cobblepot. Decided to be a good dog in the end, didn't you? Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Fuck great you, bitch. Words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. Everyone's such a player hater. Dropped your pen. That's not... <sighs> you bitch! You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You won't get away with this. I think I already have. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. I knew it! And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. Say nothing. <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. 
Kidding me? Oh, that is bad, man. That is so bad. That sucks. Oh, my God. Sixty one percent chose to go back to Montoya. Sixty two percent kept your composure when provoked. Good. That's the important bit. Did you ask Lucius to stay or come work for you? Work full time. I'm in the lesser for that. Of course everybody did. Let's be real here. 80% refused to physically attack him. That is insane, guys. That's a problem. That God damn that bitch. I thought maybe the leader could have been a woman. I just... Oh, man. So it's a good thing I didn't give her any of that info, hey? Early in the like, earlier episodes. After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably... I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? That's going to be quite the problem. Now that is a big problem. Bruce Wayne is in Arkham Asylum. Anyway, guys, that is it for Episode 3, New World Order. A lot of problems have been created from this. And I don't know how this is going to get out. I don't know how we're going to get out of this, but I know we'll find a way like Bats always does. So ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed episode three. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description and I'll play the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so, so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, on these violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.